Hello, military viewers. This week's topic of our channel will be the CAN fighter jet, which has successfully completed its first test flight recently. CAN is among the world's leading fighter jets thanks to its advanced features and its qualification as a fifth generation fighter jet. Its story contains very interesting details. As a result of Turkey's serious investments in the defense industry in recent years, it is observed that it has produced new equipment in many different fields. Turkey, which has made serious breakthroughs, especially in unmanned aerial vehicle technology, is now making a breakthrough in fighter jets. The beginning of the Khan project emerges with the aim of developing Turkey's domestic weapons industry. The Turkish Air Force Command was expected to gradually phase out the F-16 fighter jets starting in the 2030s. In this case, new aircraft would be needed to replace the decommissioned aircraft. The Kean project was initiated with the aim of producing a fighter aircraft designed and developed it with domestic capabilities. Turkish Aerospace Industries is the main contractor in the creation of the manpower and infrastructure to design and develop the aircraft. The most striking feature of the project is that the infrastructure and technology capable of producing the fifth generation fighter jet, which is owned only by leading countries such as the USA, Russia and China, will also be produced by Turkey. Critical features such as low visibility, built-in weapons bay, high maneuverability, increased situational awareness and sensor fusion are also included in Khan. During the design and development phase, Khan is also integrated with other weapons in the Turkish Air Force's inventory. It is envisaged that the Khan will be interoperable with other fighter jets, platforms such as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and airborne warning and control, HIK, and other elements plan to be procured and that the aircraft to be produced will be in the inventory of the Turkish Air Force Command until the 2070s. As a fifth generation multi-role fighter aircraft, Kayan provides superior capabilities for both air-air and air-ground combat requirements. The Turkish aerospace industry's powerful and agile platform Kayan, which has high survivability, is a complete warrior with its smart and powerful combat capabilities. In the CAN development project, the most advanced engineering tools and methods are being used to determine and optimize the aerodynamic geometry, which is one of the most important steps. This KN cockpit design is being matured to minimize the pilot's workload by taking into account the capabilities and equipment required for fifth generation fighter aircraft. During the design process, a cockpit environment that will increase pilot situational awareness is developed by taking into account the physical, cognitive, and environmental factors that the pilot is in. On February 21st, 2024, at 08.50, it made its first flight and stayed in the air for 13 minutes. During this flight, it reached an altitude of 8,000 feet and reached a speed of 230 knots. Kayan demonstrates superior air dominance increased air-to-air -air combat range with new weapons high supersonic speed precision and accuracy from internal weapon slots, increased combat power with artificial intelligence and neural network support with the KAN fighter jet. After the successful completion of the first flight of the Khan fighter jet, all eyes turn to Turkey. Khan is expected to enter mass production in the coming years and begin its duties within the Turkish armed forces. Thanks to its integration features, Khan, which can fight in harmony with different vehicles and weapons, is taking its place in world history as a serious project. Khan came to the agenda again not long after its first flight. As a result of the work done in recent days, Khan has gained its new paint and appearance. After the first flight, the Khan fighter jet was taken to the paint facility at the Thai campus and received its new paint, the canopy, and center fuselage of the Khan fighter jet, which was seen for the first time after the painting process, was painted in a darker shade of gray. The aforementioned color is also used on the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-4E Terminator 2020 fighter jets in the Turkish Air Force inventory. On the other hand, 
Thai is also continuing the production activities of the second and third CAN fighter jet prototypes. These two new prototypes are expected to accelerate the testing activities of the CAN fighter jet on the ground and in the air. On the other hand, the new prototypes will see a reduction in size, especially in the nose and canopy parts. The date when CAN's initial conditions, called T0, were fulfilled is 2018. As part of Phase 1, Phase 1, CAN's preliminary design activities were carried out between 2018 and 2022. As part of Phase 1, Phase 2, CAN's detailed design and qualification activities will be carried out between 2022 and 2029. Accordingly, CAN left the hangar in 2023. Until 2026, it is aimed to produce three prototypes. It is known that the assembly activities of the second and third prototypes are currently ongoing at TI facilities. The Block 10 configuration, which will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force, is planned to be developed until 2029. The 10 can Block 1 fighter jets to be produced as part of Phase 2 will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 and 2033. However, this date announced by the Turkish Air Force has been updated by TAI as 2028. Within the scope of Phase 3 between 2034-2040, the development and serial production activities of other KN blocks will be carried out. This date has also been revised as 2030 by TAI. As you can see, the work is gaining momentum day by day. Turkey's strong steps in the defense industry are also receiving support from various countries around the world. The number of countries making bilateral agreements with Turkey in the field of arms and defense industry is increasing day by day. Military experts state that they are eagerly waiting to see the performance of the Kayan fighter jet in active conflict zones. They are also very positive about the fact that it stayed in the air for 13 minutes without any problems in its first flight. There are only four countries in the world that produce fifth-generation fighter jets. These are the USA, Russia, China, and South Korea. With the CAN project, Turkey has managed to become one of the countries producing fifth-generation fighter jets. In the coming period, new projects are expected to be announced, and systems integrated to KAN are expected to increase. What do you think about Turkey's breakthrough in the defense industry? How do you think Turkey's armed power position will change with the mass production of the CAN? What do you think about fifth generation fighter jets? Do you think fighter jets retain their importance while the importance of unmanned aerial vehicle technologies is increasing today? We care about your opinions. Please share them with us.